So we're looking here at one of the next generation striker fire guns from Grand Power. Wanted to give you an up close look at that new trigger shoe. Gives you that vertical feeling, a very flat shoe, very crisp brake, and the barrels now being tenor coated are a whole lot less likely to show any rust over time as well as uh, tenifer is nice and slick which helps with that rotating mechanism. My thoughts on this next generation Q100. Um, we have previously done a review on the older model. This version does have a tenifer coated barrel, which does make the gun look a lot sleeker in my opinion. Uh, the previous trigger was round and a little bit squishy. You didn't really know when you were going to fire. Um, the trigger on this does have the safety. It is much crisper. Uh, great for minimal recoil. I felt like I had really great con control of the gun. Uh, super comfortable grips. The back straps do have the four different sizes for the interchangeable back straps. Um, sights really easy to acquire. The, it had just the traditional three dot uh, sights on it. Um, so overall I really enjoyed this gun. Great quality. Uh, super durable. The Q100, some of you may remember because uh, we've covered it before in the US, but this one is different. It's got a new improved trigger to it that uh, is a whole lot better. Not only do you have that flat face there, but it's very crisp. And though Grand Power is mostly known for the hammer fired guns, which I love, going to the striker fire actually enabled a slightly longer sight radius. So even though the gun is the same size, you have a little bit longer sight radius, uh, which makes aiming even easier. So you add that to the smoothness and comfort and controls of a Grand Power to begin with. Give it a crisp trigger that, well, smacks the pants off of anything that any Glock owner could ever hope for. And uh, makes for a great gun.